So you're in Pro Tools and you're getting no sound from your mic or your monitors. This can be due to a lot of different things. So today I'm going over 10 of those possibilities because we cannot have this. We need you back in the studio working on your next Hot 100 hit. I have a list, so we are going to solve this. If this is like the second or third video you've been on to solve this problem, I'm gonna start with something no one's talking about, so hopefully it's this. Let's go into your mix window and look at all of your plugins. Something that can happen, and this happened to me, and it drove me crazy, had me Googling all over, and I could not find a video with the answer, and I figured it out on my own. Thank you. By the way, I've been recording myself in Pro Tools for over 15 years. It is very possible that one of your active plugins that you have plugged in is either a free trial that has ended or one of your plugins has a software update and it's breaking the signal flow. Your audio is making its way through all the buses. Once it hits that plugin, it just stops. And this plugin is not letting the audio continue through and out your speakers. Start with your mastering chain and literally just click on each plugin one by one and see if you find something that's like, hello, you need to go here to upgrade, that will probably solve your problem. Like, I love you plugins. Thank you for updating and upgrading and making things better, but please do not stop our workflow. Anyway, if that's not what it is, we got nine more things to go through. Starting with the obvious and annoying ones. I'm sorry, I have to go through this because we've all been there. We've been troubleshooting, trying all these crazy things and something's just not plugged in. Like your headphones are not plugged into your interface, your monitors are not plugged into the interface, or worse, your microphone isn't plugged in. Just double check, I know it's like, duh, of course I plugged everything in. Oh, oops, maybe you didn't. Just as bad, is everything on? Are your monitors actually turned off or the volume knob is all the way down? Do you have a power source like me? This is my microphone's amp, and if this is off, I definitely won't be getting any sound through my mic. If your interface requires to be powered on, so if your interface is not powered on and you turn it on right now, you're probably gonna run into this problem also. Solve number four, and this one happens a lot, your playback engine might be incorrect. So let's go into Pro Tools and click on Setup and go to your playback engine menu. Right now, my playback engine is set to Black Hole, which is not what I want right now. So I need to go ahead and change it to Symphony Desktop, which is the name of my interface that I'm using right now. So if you click on this and you find your interface Go ahead and click on that and that might fix it. However, stay tuned because we also need to make sure your IO is set up right, which I'll get to in just a minute. So just to rewind back to number three, say your interface wasn't plugged in. If you happen to plug it in right now when the playback engine dialog window is open and it doesn't appear here, all you gotta do is close this window and reopen it. And hopefully it's now listed. Just hit okay, okay, and then you'll be on your way. Now, if you have a condenser microphone, fix number five may be that you don't have the 40 Eight volt button engaged. On your interface, there is a button that either says phantom power or 48V. Condenser microphones usually don't have an external power source like I do, so you need to just click phantom power or you will not hear anything. But if you have a condenser mic that has its own power source, you will not need to use that button. Number six, if you're using a brand new microphone and you've never gotten audio through it at all ever, it's possible you might need to download some drivers, especially if it's a USB mic, this can happen. Just go on Google and type in the name of your mic and drivers, and you may find the download that you need. Just install that and you should be good to go. Okay, I mentioned you need your IO settings correct. If your IO, which stands for input output, is not correct on the track you're trying to record onto, then that's why you're not hearing sound. You need to make sure that the input of your track is set to the microphone that you're using. Mine's just called analog in one. I need to make sure that my input which is right here, it's the top one under this I.O., is set to whatever your microphone is. And it's usually just like the first option under interface input one. Usually you want the output going output one and two unless you're bussing it to like your vocal chain or something like I am over here. By the way, if you are relatively new to recording, I have a whole start to finish course for you for free right here on YouTube. I'll link the playlist to that below. And if you have no experience, we can turn you into a recording engineer right at home just check out that playlist linked below. Number eight on our list, are you even record armed? If you're not hearing yourself through your mic, through your headphones, you haven't pressed this button. This needs to be on in order for us to hear anything. Okay, number nine, 
if you've done all of these things that I just mentioned, and at this point, it kind of makes no sense that you're not getting sound, everything in your system is configured correctly, what you may be experiencing is either a computer or Pro Tools attitude problem. And the best remedy for that is hashtag unplug it and plug it back in. This might look like just simply restarting Pro Tools. It might look like restarting your entire computer. It might look like restarting your interface. I can't tell you how many times I've just had to turn off my interface, turn it back on, restart Pro Tools, and suddenly everything works again. So it really just might be that. However, if you're still not hearing anything, it's time to start troubleshooting your interface. Interfaces don't live forever. And if you happen to have the Apollo Twin, I made a video dedicated just to troubleshooting the Apollo Twin. I'll link that video below as well. It's already helped a ton of people get back up and running. But if you're using a different interface and I don't have a video on it yet, leave me a comment below and let me know which interface I need to make a video for. I want you to go to YouTube and type in no sound from your interface and see if you find your answer there. Other than that, you can search more specific. It might be that your internal clock source is set incorrectly, or it might be that you need to do a factory reset on your interface. Please let me know in the comments if I've solved your problem. You might wanna share this video to your email so you can find it again later. And of course, return the favor and make sure you hit subscribe. I think you'll love my videos where I try out different plugins on my voice. I'm always trying to make new troubleshooting videos as well as lots of other Pro Tools tips. I hope I solved your problem because recording Recording from home is like the best tool you can have to further your music career. So keep going and stick with me for more.